Biopod. NASA is coming up with unconventional solutions for colonizing other planets. One of them is the Biopods capsules, which will allow plants to be grown on the moon. These futuristic greenhouses resembling air bubbles are fully self-sustaining. They will constantly monitor and maintain the optimal temperature, humidity, oxygen, and carbon dioxide levels in the air to create the perfect conditions required for each type of plant. Agriculture and other crops, however, will be grown without soil. Hydroponics or aquaponics equipment is expected to be used for this purpose. Nutrients will be delivered to each plant through the spraying of liquid fertilizers. The size of such a greenhouse is 16.5 feet in height, 36 feet in length, and 19.6 feet in width. Before sending the capsules to the moon, they will be tested on Earth and the ISS. The first prototypes will be created and tested as early as 2023, and the plan is to send the first greenhouse to conquer space in 2027. Do you think NASA will succeed? If yes, give it a like. Salto was developed back in 2016, but at that time, it could only make one jump because it couldn't maintain its balance after that. Today's model can perform hops in place and can do many other tricks, like clearing obstacles or following a moving target. You control the robot using a remote controller and a 10-minute charge gives it enough power to do 100 jumps. The machine can jump up to 47 inches high and, despite its small size, moves at a pretty impressive speed, ranging from 7 to 10 miles per hour. Salto robots will be very useful for search and rescue missions during natural disasters. Thanks to their compact size, they can easily navigate through rubble. These machines can also be used by the U.S. Army as reconnaissance robots. Can the color of a car's body change instantly? No, you might say, but that's not true. It can be done. And a bright example of that is the innovative BMW iX Flow, which was recently showcased at the CES exhibition. Based on a production electric car, this prototype has the ability to change its color from white to black and vice versa. Moreover, it can do so either completely or partially. How is this effect achieved? The car's body is painted with white enamel, but a thin transparent film with electronic ink technology is applied all over its surface. Essentially, these are mini displays. The film is divided into triangular shaped working elements that can be filled with black color. The color change is controlled through a special smartphone application by selecting white on hot sunny days and black on colder ones. You can reduce energy consumption for heating and cooling the interior. Engineers from Korea have developed a prototype of a human-like leg called Hyperleg, which can move its heel and rotate its foot. The device completely mimics the appearance, anatomy, and capabilities of the lower human limb. The robo-leg consists of a thigh, shin, and a movable foot. The main distinguishing feature of Hyperleg is the design of the ankle joint, which has two degrees of motion. This allows the foot to be rotated sideways by 30 degrees in both directions, as well as raise and lower the toe of the foot towards the shin. When in motion, the leg can support itself on both the front and back parts of the foot, similar to how humans walk. In theory, such a design will allow machines to move more efficiently across various types of surfaces and overcome obstacles, compared to current counterparts. There is currently a significant shortage of labor for fruit harvesting on plantations. In response to this, the Israeli company Tevel Aerobotics has developed an alternative solution, the FAR system with AI. This system consists of a wheeled platform that moves along rows of fruit trees with drones connected to it. The platform serves as a power source for the drones. 
With built-in cameras and AI algorithms, the drones can recognize individual fruits and other objects. They are also capable of assessing the size and ripeness of the fruits. The drones can navigate around obstacles on their way to the selected fruit. For fruit picking, the drones utilize robotic manipulators. Using specialized stabilization algorithms, they collect the fruit and send them to the cargo hold of the wheeled platform. Unlike human workers, these devices can harvest fruits even at night, as long as the platform's batteries have enough charge. Neptune Want to make your wedding or corporate event unforgettable for yourself and your guests? Then host a party in space aboard the Neptune spacecraft. It is a capsule attached to an airship. The ascent to the maximum altitude will be smooth and silent as the vehicle rises using a hydrogen-filled air balloon with a diameter of 656 feet. The capsule can accommodate up to eight people, and each flight will last approximately six hours. This spacecraft will be equipped with everything necessary for the celebration, including a bar, a toilet, and even a bathroom. It is expected to reach a height of about 19 to 24 miles and will return to Earth by parachuting itself into the ocean. The ticket price will be around $125,000, and the first passenger flights are expected within the next three and a half years. Micro Hovercraft A personal hovercraft remains a toy for wealthy people, but one Japanese inventor gives hope that anyone can build it for themselves if they want to. The Micro Hovercraft is a homemade hovercraft vessel. The device's structure consists of four fans that fill four plastic containers resembling air balloons. These inflatable containers lift the driver just a few centimeters above the ground, which is enough to call it a hovercraft. The fans are powered by electric motors. Although the exact specifications of the device are currently unknown, we hope that the inventor will share them with fans of such devices soon. If you thought that solar panel technology was only applicable on Earth, you are deeply mistaken, because it was originally conceived for the purpose of conquering space. Just recently, the company Deployable Space Systems, with the support of NASA, developed a new technology to enhance satellites. The Rollout Solar Array ROSA represents an alternative to existing solar panel technologies. Their main advantage lies in their compact design which allows the panels to deploy and retract rapidly. This enables the activation of solar arrays only when additional power is needed. Additionally, with these capabilities, the panels are less susceptible to damage from space debris. NASA wasted no time and installed ROSA aboard the International Space Station, where it is already providing additional power. Considering its affordability and compactness, ROSA can enhance a wide range of scientific and commercial missions. Slovak company Angler Automotive Limited has introduced the futuristic vehicle Angler FF, which they describe as the world's first super quad. The manufacturer doesn't officially advertise its foundation, although it's clear that it contains chassis and transmission components as well as an engine from the Audi R8. At least, the V10 engine suggests this, which can generate up to 800 horsepower. It weighs only 1,763 pounds when fully equipped. As a result, the vehicle can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, with a top speed exceeding 217 miles per hour. The Super Quad has a length of 15.32 feet, a height of only 3.11 feet, and a wheelbase of 8.7 feet. Its body is made of carbon fiber and the presence of pneumatic suspension allows it to smooth out any road irregularities. Vertigo is a four-wheeled robot that can drive on walls. To achieve this, engineers at Disney Research equipped the device with two tilting propellers mounted on top of the robot. By changing the tilt angle, the rear propeller pushes the robot towards the wall, while the front one pulls it upward. This allows Vertigo to transition from a horizontal surface to a vertical one. 
According to the developers, this design gives the robot freedom of movement and flexibility in choosing its path both indoors and in urban environments. The robot is remotely controlled, but the tilt angle of the propellers is automatically adjusted based on the surrounding conditions. Thanks to the use of advanced lightweight materials in construction, the robot weighs only 4.4 pounds and is 23.6 inches long. Portable exoskeletons used to seem like mere fantasies from the world of games and movies. But now, such technology actually exists. After many years of careful development, engineers have created an exoskeleton resembling a boot that enhances walking speed and reduces the strain on the legs. This robotic boot has a motor that works with the calf muscles to provide the wearer with an extra push with each step. However, unlike other exoskeletons, the Stanford exoskeleton is personalized through machine learning using a neural network. Essentially, it can learn the characteristics of your legs and adjust its strength to fit each individual. The ultimate goal is to help people with musculoskeletal impairments, especially the elderly, move through the world as they desire. So, let's wish the scientists good luck in this important and challenging endeavor. One of the main drawbacks of a bicycle is the lack of comfort. This can be addressed by the futuristic Iris e-trike, the bike of the future. This vehicle has built-in cooling and air filtration systems, making the ride extremely comfortable. This futuristic transport can reach speeds of over 30 miles per hour and weighs 110 pounds. For better road awareness, the e-bike is equipped with a rear-view camera with a 120-degree viewing angle. The technical specifications of the bike are impressive, just like its appearance. It has a 9-speed transmission that can be adjusted to 200, 500, or 750 watts through pedaling. As for the dimensions, it is 8.5 feet long, 3 feet wide, and 4 feet tall. It is powered by a 20-amp-hour lithium-ion battery, which provides a range of 30 miles. B Triton Cycling tourism is wonderful. The only thing is, in addition to a bicycle, you need to bring a tent and, in some cases, a boat to overcome water obstacles. But what if we told you that all of these things are combined in one? Introducing the B Triton, a bicycle 10 amphibious vehicle. It can be used as an electric moped, but in just a couple of minutes, it can be turned into a small boat. To do this, simply remove the bicycle part and rear wheels and attach special floats. If needed, the B Triton can be converted into a two-person tent in which you can comfortably spend the night. One electric motor is responsible for transportation on land. For movement on water, a separate electric motor equipped with a propeller is used. There is a solar panel on the roof for recharging the battery on the go. The battery has enough power to travel up to 62 miles on land and up to 25 miles on water. French company LIFE, specializing in the production of environmentally friendly hydrogen, has announced that its pilot offshore wind hydrogen platform named Sea Life has produced its first kilograms of green hydrogen. The technology is based on an interesting concept. Electricity generated by wind can power water electrolysis, which is the process of using electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. That's exactly how the Sea Life platform connects to offshore wind turbines and produces fuel with its electrolyzers to generate clean hydrogen. A single floating platform with an area of 200 square meters can produce up to 400 kilograms of hydrogen per day. Considering that on average, a hydrogen-powered vehicle consumes just one kilogram of fuel per 100 kilometers, such stations can power a tremendous number of vehicles without polluting the environment. The first crossbows appeared around the 4th to 5th century BC. And since then, their design has continuously been improved. The result of this is the creation of the unique Steambow AR6 model. The distinctive feature of this crossbow is its multi-shot capability. It is equipped with an internal magazine that holds six 6-inch six arrows. 
The rate of fire depends on the user's skills, dexterity, and strength, but even a beginner can easily shoot all six arrows within 10 seconds. The weapon is manually cocked using a special built-in lever. The adjustable M4 style stock facilitates cocking the trigger compared to previous models and helps stabilize the device during shooting. The Steambow AR6 is made from high quality polymer, making it lightweight yet extremely durable. This crossbow can be used for training, hunting small game, or even for self-defense purposes. And now, an exciting news for robotics enthusiasts, the Waveline Magnetic Robot. What sets it apart? It is capable of harnessing electrical energy from motion waves. In terms of its appearance, the robot resembles a human spine. A single generator of this kind can produce up to 100 megawatts of electricity per day. The absence of any friction has become a unique feature of the device. This allows it to operate in complete harmony with the marine environment, regardless of wave type or weather conditions. Another notable feature is that the structure can be made from recycled plastic. The company also highlighted that similar panels could completely replace fossil fuels. The robot has already undergone a series of tests in tanks with artificial waves and in the natural marine environment. The cost of such a device remains unknown at this time. The essentials for survival in the wilderness are shelter and water. However, obtaining them, for example, in a desert can be quite a challenging task. This is where the Fog X Survival Jacket comes to the rescue. This innovative garment unfolds into a tent that helps shield you from the scorching sun, insects, and unwanted attention. Additionally, the fabric of the jacket collects up to 10 liters of drinking water per day from the surrounding mist. This allows the wearer to have access to water for drinking, washing, and other camping needs. Accompanying the jacket is a special application that utilizes real-time weather data and recommends the best places to find water. This jacket can help you survive even in situations depicted in movies like WALL-E. By the way, an engineer named Matt Hobbs recently created a realistic replica of this character on YouTube. Northern Light An electric car that doesn't need to be charged. We're not talking about nuclear-powered electric cars here. We're talking about a serial Velomobile. The vehicle is a hybrid three-wheeled bicycle with a streamlined body. Such technology is typically powered by a chain drive, but this time a completely different approach has been taken. By pedaling the Velomobile, the driver not only propels the vehicle, it also charges the battery that powers the electric motor. This hybrid system allows racers to generate and accumulate electric energy by pedaling on flat terrain and use the motor when going uphill. The maximum speed of the Velomobile is up to 40 miles per hour, while the range on the battery is up to 50 miles. The cost according to Northern Light Motors is approximately $3,439. Ridroid Unmanned cars no longer surprise anyone. But what do you think about an unmanned bicycle? Introducing you to the Ridroid AI-controlled robot transformer, which can replace a scooter or an electric bike. Moreover, it is not just a means of transportation, but also a personal assistant for transporting various goods. The device can travel at a speed of 6.2 miles per hour and is equipped with an object recognition system. Thanks to this, it can automatically stop in case of any obstacles on the way. Another feature of the novelty is the ability to move independently. 
The desired point only needs to be specified in the application and the robot will drive there itself. The unmanned bicycle is powered by a rechargeable battery whose capacity is still unknown. It weighs 141 pounds and can be steered simply by tilting its body in the desired direction. Alfreda Electric bicycles and scooters are primarily designed for city riding, so they must meet certain requirements such as stability and mobility. The three-wheeled electric bike Alfreda S6 combines all of these features. The three 14-inch wheels are made of aluminum, with the two front wheels equipped with a spring lever mechanism that allows each of them to tilt up to 40 degrees when turning and move up and down by 0.9 feet when riding on rough terrain. This allows the scooter to easily overcome various obstacles with increased stability. The electric bike is equipped with an electric motor that allows it to accelerate up to 25 miles per hour. The electric motor is powered by a lithium battery, one 4-hour charge of which is enough for a range of 19 miles. The scooter folds in just one second and turns into a wheeled case. Renewable energy sources are widely used worldwide by many to reduce energy costs and protect the environment. And now, a new method of harnessing renewable energy is coming into view. The Darius Turbine is a low-torque, high-speed device used to generate alternating current. Typically, the Darius Turbine requires a physical push to start rotating, so an external energy source like solar panels is used for the initial rotation. This machine consists of two blades positioned opposite each other and rotating around a central column. 25 of these turbines installed in Iraq along an international highway can generate 35 megawatts of energy, enough to power nearby cities. Each turbine can save up to $9,000 annually without any additional costs. From now on, not only cars but also trains can run on hydrogen fuel. Poland has approved the introduction of a shunting locomotive with a hydrogen engine developed by the company PESA. The PESA locomotive, designated as SM42-6DN, is expected to provide the same traction characteristics as the diesel locomotives it is meant to replace, while operating without harmful emissions. The train is equipped with two hydrogen fuel cells with a total power output of 170 kilowatts. They power four traction motors through a traction battery, providing a maximum speed of 90 kilometers per hour quite a sporty performance for a train. The onboard fuel tanks can hold up to 175 kilograms of hydrogen, allowing the locomotive to operate continuously for a whole day before requiring refueling. It's gratifying to see that such inventions that help save the environment are gaining more and more momentum. Jetpacks are also reaching a new level. The largest pizza chain, Domino's, has conducted trials for a new type of delivery using a jetpack. In this amazing video, you can see a delivery person wearing a special suit transporting pizza a few meters above the ground at high speeds. This approach allows them to avoid traffic jams on the road and deliver pizza to any corner of the world where no car can go. The custom-made suit is equipped with special technologies to keep the food hot so you can always enjoy fresh and delicious food even if you're miles from the city. Could you imagine that a delivery drone would someday be able to land right outside your window, just like a regular bird? Well, it's already a reality. The Jetsy Glider drone is capable of delivering packages to customers using a special system that can be attached beneath the window of any building. The aluminum structure serves as a landing and takeoff pad, as well as facilitating quick loading and unloading of the drone. The drone can also land on the ground or drop the cargo with a parachute. These drones can cover distances of up to 74 miles, flying at an altitude of around 1.55 miles. The batteries provide 75 minutes of flight time. Currently, most Jedzy drones are used for delivering medical parcels along short fixed routes. A single flight between facilities takes about 5 minutes. That's much faster and 10 times more cost-effective than delivering a similar payload by car.
Like the previous invention, the safe house transformer home can be classified as a thing of the future. This unique building can transform into an impenetrable modern fortress hidden behind an indestructible fence. Alternatively, it can become a beautiful open villa. And all these magical transformations can be done with just the push of a button. The house is cube-shaped and equipped with technologies that automatically move walls and close shutters. This allows it to transform into an ultra-secure bunker, separating its residents from the outside world in just a few minutes. Once all barriers are removed, the villa's occupants are greeted with a view of the garden and green lawn. This house is located near Warsaw, Poland and is a local attraction. The Q-Loader automatic loading system from the Polish company WDX is an innovative solution for the logistics industry. It allows for three times faster loading and unloading of goods into semi-trailers or containers. During testing, it was proven that the loading time for a standard semi-trailer reduced from 45 to 15 minutes. Notably, using such a device doesn't require special adaptation of terminals and semi-trailers. The system is equipped with a special platform that resembles a forklift. While a forklift can only transport one pallet at a time, the platform of the device can accommodate an entire batch of goods at once. After forming a batch of cargo, it is moved into the semi-trailer along with the platform. Then the forks of the platform are released and it returns to its original position. Unloading of semi-trailers is done in reverse order. After unloading, the system sorts the pallets and directs them to the storage area via a special roller conveyor. In the near future, the Q-Loader is planned to be tested at the Rebin Logistics Center in Strakov. Airplanes need to be cleaned regularly to ensure that dirt and ice on the fuselage don't affect their aerodynamics. To address this, MSG Productions has developed a fully autonomous and programmable washing system capable of cleaning any aircraft from dirt or removing ice even in sub-zero temperatures. The core component of the system is water cannons mounted on a special structure that mimics the shape of an airplane. They are controlled by software and depending on the selected mode can clean the aircraft from ice or dirt. The pinpoint operation of these water cannons not only reduces water consumption, but also enhances the efficiency of cleaning the aircraft's body compared to other similar devices. Israeli company Urban Aeronautics plans to soon start serial production on the Cormorant VTOL vertical takeoff and landing drone. Notably, this drone will operate on hydrogen fuel rather than electricity. The unmanned aircraft can reach speeds of up to 111 miles per hour and stay in the air for an incredible five hours. The drone was developed specifically for military purposes, as delivering ammunition to remote and hard-to-reach areas currently consumes a lot of time and resources. It will also be used for evacuating wounded soldiers from the battlefield. It will allow medics to quickly reach the injured, and there's enough space inside to load a soldier and provide initial medical aid. Vertical takeoff and landing are achieved through two fans located parallel to the ground within the drone's body. Horizontal movement is controlled by two vertical thrusting screws at the tail. Pininfarina Company has revealed the stylish, conceptual electric crossover named Pura Vision. The standout design features of the car are its composite butterfly doors and a glass dome. The crossover lacks central pillars, emphasizing its spacious cabin designed for four passengers. Among the intriguing interior solutions within the concept are speakers in the headrests, creating individual sound zones for all passengers, and a built-in wine cooler for the rear seats. The central console, ceiling lining, and seat backs are made from a new fabric composed of 30% Nativa wool and 70% recycled polyester. 
The power of the Pura Vision's propulsion system reaches around 1,000 horsepower, allowing it to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 3 seconds. The electric car has a top speed of 186 miles per hour and can cover a range of 340 miles on a single battery charge. The startup New Bike is revolutionizing bicycles by removing chains. The manufacturer has rethought the traditional principles of how a bike works and invented a chainless bike. The bicycle is equipped with a lever mechanism attached to the rear wheel. With the levers, the cyclist doesn't pedal like on a regular bike, but simply presses on them, moving them up and down. The creators claim that this system allows for achieving higher speeds with less physical effort. Additionally, the lever mechanism is easier to maintain without the worry of getting greasy, as is the case with repairing bikes with chain drives. Another feature of the bicycle is its carbon fiber frame, weighing only 2.86 pounds. The prototype's total weight is 22 pounds. In China, they've developed a smart sleep mask with light and music. It can completely block out sunlight when you're falling asleep. And upon waking up, it starts glowing as if it's morning. An integrated LED strip emits a soft orange light similar to the sunrise. The brightness gradually increases, but it's not blinding to the eyes. This natural awakening approach is believed to help people wake up more easily and naturally. The mask also comes with built-in speakers. They activate before sleep, gently playing soothing melodies like white noise or the sound of raindrops. As the user falls into a deep sleep, the sounds fade, and upon awakening, the mask begins to play a more lively melody, such as a bird song. Users can control the device through a dedicated smartphone app where they can set an alarm as well. I suppose you have already seen the concert of a pedestrian crossing rising from the ground. It is undoubtedly cool, but an equally cool technology has been proposed by the company SafeX1. This development is a smart zebra crossing that can be installed anywhere. Four columns on each side of the road are equipped with numerous sensors and lamps. When a person approaches the road, the sensors gather information and immediately emit a bright light signal to the drivers. Furthermore, the systems continuously send information to a control center, where operators can monitor the status of the systems in real time, including crossing data. And by the way, SafeX1 doesn't require regular power supply because it is equipped with solar panels that allow it to operate for up to two weeks, even in cloudy weather. Slade Can decide whether you prefer skiing or snowboarding? Then take a look at the hybrid snow sports device called Slade. This innovation was developed in Finland and consists of a board with two pairs of small metal skis. They are attached parallel to the long sides of the board but can tilt sideways depending on the terrain. Additionally, they have special spring mechanisms that act as shock absorbers during jumps and tricks. You can use the Slade not only in the mountains, but also on flat surfaces, as long as they are covered with snow. The manufacturer plans to release Slade for mass sale soon. It is expected to retail for approximately $390. Kaleidos A modern generator the size of a shipping container can provide electricity for just a small building. But what if we told you that a similarly sized device could power up to 1,000 houses? We present to you the Kaleidos Prototype Nuclear Reactor from Radian Industries. This device, with the dimensions of a standard container, can provide electricity to around 1,000 houses for up to 8 years. 
Because of new technologies used, it's safer than existing nuclear reactors. The device only needs refueling every five years or so, so it can be installed in remote areas of our planet. Plans are in place by the manufacturing company to place these reactors along highways to charge electric cars. But the most interesting part is that this device might provide electricity for the first settlers on Mars. Bifrost Pulse VR Virtual reality gloves that enable users to feel virtual objects have been priced at several thousand dollars, making them practically inaccessible to regular users. That was the case until the emergence of Bifrost Pulse VR. The price of a single glove is only $299, while a pair of gloves will cost you $450. The prototype weighs 0.31 pounds and doesn't require additional motion tracking equipment. Sensors inside the glove can track fine motor movements within millimeters. When a user grabs a virtual object, the mechanisms in the glove apply varying levels of force to each finger. This feature allows the device to simulate the size, shape, and density of an object. If a user reaches out their hand to touch a virtual solid surface, such as a wall, the mechanisms create resistance that the user can feel. The project is primarily focused on gaming rather than corporate applications. Ultra Blue Manual loading of trucks and trailers requires additional employees and consequently higher labor costs. But what if a robot could do it? That's what the team at Bastion Solutions thought and developed the Ultra Blue Loading System. This mobile robot for automated loading is a unique solution. It can move autonomously without any additional infrastructure, and there is no need for rails or ground equipment. The robot is equipped with a special extendable conveyor. With six degrees of freedom, the device efficiently and compactly positions boxes in the trailer. Once inside the trailer, the system transports, lifts, and stacks the boxes without human assistance. This opens up broad possibilities for more efficient utilization of the existing workforce and savings on manual loading services. Bullfrog Track 2 As the size of a concrete pour increases, it becomes increasingly difficult to achieve a smooth surface through manual troweling for a perfect result. Now, this problem can be solved with the Bullfrog Track 2 Power Trowel. Unlike traditional trowels with handles, this tool features a high-tech unit with two float pans. Once the device is turned on, the unit moves along a guide rope that is stretched across the slab between two operators. This allows for easy and precise smoothing of a wide and continuous pore surface. Built-in mechanisms automatically tilt the float pans to apply pressure on the freshly poured surface, aiming for optimal results. The machine is equipped with a built-in battery that provides enough power for troweling 12,000 square feet of surface on a single charge. Jizai Arms Almost all of us have watched or at least heard of the movie Spider-Man, where one of the villains was Dr. Octavius with his robotic arms. Although things didn't end well in the movie, Japanese developers realized that they truly needed extra hands and thus created an auxiliary gadget. Jizai Arms is a backpack with slots for attaching six multifunctional robotic limbs. The hands of these limbs are detachable so they can be replaced with different grippers. The robotic arms can be controlled in two ways, using a PC program or a controller. The user or an operator can control the robots. People can use such a gadget in various fields of life, in construction, design, medicine, and more. The weight of the base backpack unit is 9 pounds and the total weight of the system with four attached arms reaches 30 pounds. Mercedes SLS AMG do you dream of owning an elite supercar, but for obvious reasons cannot afford it? Don't despair. Take a cue from Polish inventor Andrzej Burak, who decided to make his dream a reality and became the owner of a Mercedes SLS AMG supercar, or rather a replica of it with pedal drive. At first glance, the Polish supercar is indistinguishable from the original. 
However, once you open the hood, instead of a V-shaped 8-cylinder engine, you will see a powerful speaker that simulates the sound of a real motor. The supercar is propelled by a chain drive and both the driver and passenger can pedal. The body and bumpers of the pedal-powered SLS AMG are made of fiberglass and the frame is made of steel. And just like the original, the car doors open like gullwing wings. According to the inventor, he plans to install a real engine on his design in the future. Jetson 1 Maneuverable and fast, sporty and practical. All of these describe the single-seat quadcopter Jetson 1. The drone is built on a frame of aluminum and carbon fiber, with a shape that is inspired by racing cars. The device takes off into the air with the help of eight electric motors. The power source is a high-current lithium-ion battery, which currently lasts only 20 minutes of flight, and a full charge from a 220-volt outlet takes one hour. Flight control is done using a three-axis joystick and throttle lever. The maximum speed of the device is 63 miles per hour, and the flight height is 1,476 feet. The LiDAR sensor system constantly scans the terrain and allows you to bypass obstacles. If there is a breakdown at altitude, an emergency ballistic parachute will open, which is automatically activated when falling. NEMO Undoubtedly, many of you were captivated by Jules Verne's fantastic novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea during your childhood and dreamed of embarking on a journey on your own submarine. Now, this has become a reality. We present to you the first serial personal submarine named after the novel's protagonist, Captain Nemo. The capsule design allows you to fully enjoy the beauty revealed during your underwater journey. The completely transparent acrylic dome does not limit the horizon at all, providing a real presence effect. The Nemo submersible is limited to a diving depth of 328 feet and can stay underwater for up to 8 hours. To achieve this, Nemo is equipped with a sonar, LED floodlights, and even a manipulator arm with a grabber. With it, the owner can retrieve a discovery from the bottom while remaining inside. The device is powered by four silent electric motors and can reach speeds of up to 3 knots. Moonwalkers Are you always running late for work and wishing speedwalking shoes existed? Then give this post a like. They already exist. Moonwalkers, devices for accelerating walking speed, allow you to move 2.5 times faster. The strap design allows moonwalkers to be used with almost any pair of shoes. Each platform is equipped with an electric motor that drives a set of eight wheels. Special sensors track the user's gait and automatically adjust the motor power. Therefore, the speed increases and decreases automatically. The articulated toe bends just like regular shoes. Moonwalkers are reported to increase walking speed by 250%, but the maximum speed is limited to 7 miles per hour even when going downhill. They are also designed for use on stairs. With a special foot gesture, you can lock the wheels and climb up just like regular shoes. Ungoverned Drifter Off-roading on a skateboard? Impossible, you might say. A rollerboard can only be ridden on a smooth surface. That was the case until the innovative skateboard with a 30-wheel drive appeared. This board has over 70 shark wheel-shaped wheels with 30 of them equipped with their own electric drive. Thanks to this feature and a high torque, you can ride the drifter on forest trails and even on sand. The board also easily overcomes obstacles such as stairs and hills. Currently, this is only a prototype with a powerful steel frame, which is why the weight of the skateboard is 42.8 pounds. It is planned that the production model will be made of carbon fiber and have a drive on all 70 wheels. In the modern world, most people spend more than six hours a day in a seated position. This undoubtedly has a negative impact on our health, but the following invention can help fix that. 
Introducing the Flexi Spot V6, an office chair with an exercise bike. The unique feature of this chair is the built-in exercise bike designed to allow you to stretch and exercise while working, without having to leave your monitor. Moreover, such exercise allows the brain to relax and rejuvenate, ensuring that your work remains highly productive. For convenience and proper posture, the chair is equipped with height adjustment, armrests, and a tilting mesh backrest. Now, everyone can combine the pleasant with the beneficial without even leaving their workstation. In Japan, robots for lunar and Martian exploration have been showcased. Japanese company Gitai has unveiled prototypes of new robots that will be used for large-scale space operations on nearby planets. The company believes that robots can be utilized for various activities in space, ranging from sample collection and debris removal to environmental surveying and station maintenance. This approach is much more cost-effective and safer as it eliminates the need to involve human labor. To this end, the company has developed a robotic manipulator and a rover. Currently, Kitai is in the process of creating testing equipment for its robotics, including lunar environment simulation and a vacuum chamber. The ultimate goal is to reduce the cost of labor by 100 times and enhance humanity's technological readiness for the exploration of new cosmic horizons. Many people make significant efforts to create their home office or the perfect gaming PC. For this, you need the best gaming chair, keyboard desk, mouse, and so on. But what if you could take care of all of this at once? The Cooler Master Development Company has devised a solution to that by creating the Orb X, a gaming capsule that is meant to be the future of gaming. It is equipped with everything you need for a great time, a comfortable chair, a keyboard and PC stand, a monitor arm, and most importantly, an unusual futuristic design. The capsule is surrounded by ARGB LED strips, giving it a look that is almost straight out of the movie Tron. Although the cost of such a mega capsule reaches a whopping $15,000, AeroVanish is the first commercial electric mini pickup truck made in the USA. The company presents this electric vehicle as an ideal option for tasks where full-size pickups or vans are too big and golf carts are too small. The car is quite versatile thanks to its modular design. It will offer both traditional pickup truck body options and alternative ones, including a closed cargo compartment that turns the electric pickup into a small truck. Moreover, the vehicle will be available with different door options or even without them if the customer doesn't plan to use the car on public roads. The base model of the pickup truck has a payload capacity of 1,200 pounds. The maximum speed of the electric car is 25 miles per hour, while the lithium-ion battery provides a range of up to 50 miles. The car can be charged from a regular wall outlet or a J1772 charging station. The base model of the pickup truck will cost the buyer at least $33,900. The art of origami originated in Japan in the 7th century thanks to the monks. However, it remains relevant today. The Levante Origami Foldable Solar Panels are a compact solution for off-grid power supply. This lightweight device can be easily carried and installed in less than a minute in any location. This provides quick access to power wherever you may need it. Additionally, they can be easily attached to boats and vans, and can even generate electricity while folded. The devices are available in two power options, 330 watts and 500 watts. 18 propellers and one person. That's how you can describe in two words the new product from Lyft Aircraft, the compact electric drone Hexa. This multi-copter has several significant design differences compared to similar devices. One of them is that the developers decided to increase the system's reliability by installing a separate battery under each of the motors. The company claims that the drone can safely land even if six out of the 18 motors fail. Additionally, the drone is equipped with a parachute that can deploy even during a 10-meter fall. The multi-copter can lift one person weighing up to 250 pounds while weighing 432 pounds itself. Despite its relatively small weight, the drone can only stay airborne for 10 to 15 minutes, so the developers primarily position it as an entertainment device. 
Standard firefighting systems have blind spots or fail at the most inconvenient times. The deck gun trailer is designed precisely for such situations. It is a mobile platform used to extinguish fires in inaccessible areas or when the main system fails. The device is capable of delivering a water discharge ranging from 4,000 to 8,000 gallons per minute. Moreover, it can reach heights that regular equipment cannot. The hydrant has multiple spray modes, one of which literally creates a wall of water that can be used to protect the firefighting team from the fire. The flow rate can be adjusted and the modes can be switched manually or remotely. Like a Black 2 Fly is an innovative invention that revolutionizes the concept of 3D scanning. This compact device combines the functionality of a scanner with that of a navigation drone. With just a few simple taps on a tablet, the device allows you to obtain highly accurate 3D scans, while the drone automatically moves through space to collect data. During the flight, the sensors of the flying scanner operate in a 360-degree obstacle detection mode. This enables the detection and avoidance of high-voltage wires as small as 5 mm in diameter. This groundbreaking invention promises to simplify and expedite the process of gathering information and enhance efficiency across various industries. Japanese startup NARC has developed the concept of a floating city called Dogen City, which will be available to provide its residents with electricity, food, and water. The estimated population will range from 10,000 to 40,000 people. Thanks to its unique design, the city will be capable of withstanding various natural disasters like tsunamis, which are often observed near the coast of Japan. Dogen City will consist of three separate zones, a residential ring, an underwater data processing center, and internal structures floating freely inside the ring. The city will host educational, medical, municipal institutions, and even its own spaceport. Residents will be able to receive daily telemedicine consultations and monitor their health using various devices and sensors. They will also have continuous access to high-tech blood analysis for disease prevention and remote robotic surgery. Additionally, the city will have specialized laboratories for pharmacology research. NR claims that the floating city will be operational by 2030. While the floating city is still in its development stages, the use of quadcopters has already reached new heights. Just take a look at how drones can be used for cargo transportation right now. The Artificial Intelligence System SWIFT, developed by researchers from the University of Zurich and Intel, defeated three world champions in drone racing. This event is being called a new milestone in the development of AI. The competition took place on a specially designed track near Zurich. Additionally, the AI demonstrated the fastest lap time, beating the best human racer by half a second. The competition was on an even playing field because Swift used real data from an onboard camera similar to what human racers use. According to the developers, SWIFT's capabilities could be utilized in forest monitoring, space exploration, and the film industry. Moreover, this technology could be valuable in search and rescue operations, where drones need to cover large distances quickly. Meadowmotion is the first AI-powered robot designed for tomato harvesting. Not only is it capable of picking tomatoes, it can also understand the structure of plants, the environment, and independently assess the ripeness of the fruits. The robot features two manipulators for harvesting tomatoes from both sides of the row in high-tech greenhouses. This autonomous vehicle is equipped with 3D AI-based vision technology that creates a map of the plants and crop. The advanced vision system identifies ripe tomatoes for harvesting and directs the manipulator to the right spot. It cuts and collects the tomato branches, then places the fruits on a conveyor belt that dumps them into onboard containers. All these actions take just 16 seconds. Once the unmanned robot reaches the end of the row, it stops, detaches its trailer, and sends it to the storage.
you've probably had to drill a hole in the ceiling at least once in your life, and you understand how frustrating and tiring it can be. Now, imagine having to drill hundreds of such holes each day. It feels like an impossible mission. But there is a solution, the unique Hilti Jibot. It's a semi-autonomous robot on tracks with a mechanical arm that can effortlessly handle tools weighing up to 22 pounds and reach heights of up to 10 feet. During test trials, the robot drilled 90 holes in one hour, which is an unofficial world record. Additionally, the robot marks and meticulously documents the depth, diameter, time, and location of each drilled hole. In South Korea, automated systems are also assisting people. Sprinklers installed on the median strips of roads pump rainwater directly from the drains. Besides keeping the roads dust-free, they also cool down the asphalt in hot weather. Startup Houston Mechatronics has launched the first of three second-generation underwater robots called Aquanaut MK2. This AI-based device is designed for collecting data and servicing equipment located in the ocean. It can operate autonomously at depths of up to 984 feet and is intended primarily for deep-sea work on offshore oil and gas platforms. This industry relies heavily on underwater equipment that requires regular inspection and maintenance. To perform routine wellhead maintenance, certain valves need to be turned. Until now, remotely operated vehicles ROVs, were used to tackle these tasks, but they required an operator and a long cable. Aquanaut MK2 is entirely autonomous. It can autonomously navigate to the location, inspect the object, and complete the assigned task using its two manipulators. The robot can be transported to the site on a small boat or dropped from a helicopter. T1N2 is a motorized tracked platform with wireless remote control designed for loading, transporting, and unloading helicopters. It is intended for helicopters with skids and a weight not exceeding 6,000 pounds. To load a helicopter, the platform crawls under the front skids and using a pair of conveyor belts located on top, pulls the aircraft onto itself. After securing the helicopter on the platform, the operator guides it to the takeoff area or into a hangar. The platform's battery provides 30 minutes of operation on a single charge and can recharge from 0 to 100% in a couple of hours. Additionally, the device comes with an extra interchangeable battery for intensive use. Unlike the previous invention, the Kibot robot doesn't produce anything. Instead, it can deliver a very powerful punch. The device weighs 308 pounds and mimics the operator's movements with a time delay of approximately 12 milliseconds. Currently, this is a record among robots of similar size. Combat control is achieved through a VR system that tracks the player's movements. A similar robot controlled by a computer serves as a sparring partner. The development team is currently working on improving certain aspects of their creation. Do you love working in nature? Then the Skoda Rodiak Mobile Office Camper is specially designed for you. The camper is built on the basis of the Skoda Anyak 80X Sportline Electric Crossover. However, the vehicle has undergone significant transformations both inside and out. Solar panels can be installed on the roof of this innovation, and there is a separate socket on the left side for connecting to the camping site's power grid. Additionally, the package includes a foldable tent that can be attached to the car during parking to provide protection from rain or sunlight. The furniture in the rear section is custom-made, allowing the car to be transformed into a mobile home or office. Inside, you will find everything you need for productive work, including a 27-inch monitor, USB ports, and power outlets. Somehow, even a compact kitchen unit with a coffee machine, shower, and survival kit managed to fit into the crossover.
Can you imagine that robots from the iconic Transformers franchise already exist? No? Then take a look at the innovative Morphobot M4 robot, which can drive and fly. This device is roughly the size of a remote-controlled car but has an impressive set of features. Thanks to the use of artificial intelligence, the robot can choose the most efficient mode of movement based on the characteristics of the surrounding environment. When exploring an unfamiliar terrain, the M4 starts moving on four wheels. If it encounters a ravine or another obstacle that cannot be overcome on wheels, it switches to flight mode. Once the obstacle is cleared, it returns to its original mode. WatchBuds is a hybrid of a watch and wireless earbuds. The watch case serves as a charging case for the earbuds while retaining all the functionalities of a regular smartwatch. The appearance of the watch leaves a very pleasant impression, even with a thickness of almost 15 millimeters. At the bottom of the case, there is a special button that provides access to the earbuds. They are housed in dedicated recesses that function as the charging case. The earbuds have a 30 mAh battery, which should provide up to 4 hours of playback time. A full charge of the earbuds from zero takes about 33 minutes and consumes approximately 18% of the watch battery's charge. The earbuds case is extremely compact, and each earbud weighs just 4 grams. Additionally, there is no separation between the earbuds for the right and left ears. The first auto gyro was introduced to the public in 1919. Today, these aircraft are experiencing a second peak of popularity. A shining example of this is the Nissus Auto Gyro, which may represent the future of the aviation industry. The Auto Gyro uses a three-bladed propeller with a single engine for takeoff. The maximum speed of the Auto Gyro is limited to 121 miles per hour. The takeoff distance of the Auto Gyro is 656 feet and requires 492 feet for a safe landing. The 24 gallon fuel tank capacity is sufficient to provide a range of 310 miles. Additionally, this rotor wing aircraft demonstrates excellent maneuverability even at low speeds. The airframe of the aircraft is welded from tubes, providing high rigidity and safety at a low weight. The cabin and tail section of the auto gyro are made of carbon fiber to reduce the overall load. NASA has completed tests of a rock climbing robot named Lemur, which is set to explore the Red Planet. It successfully scaled a mountain in the USA using its spiky hands and discovered fossilized remains of ancient algae. The robot has four limbs, each equipped with 16 fingers, featuring hundreds of tiny hooks that grip onto the uneven surfaces of rocks. Following a designated route, the robot employs a set of tools to scan the rock for ancient fossils. The ability to search for ancient artifacts will be crucial on planets like Mars where sedimentary deposits in the beds of ancient lakes could hold evidence of past life. Lemur was initially intended to be a repair robot for the International Space Station. But that project has now been discontinued. Nonetheless, the program has led to the development of a new generation of walking, climbing, and crawling robots that could prove incredibly useful for exploring the Red Planet. Metro Typhoon is the world's most advanced vacuum automatic waste collection, sorting, and transportation system. After a person disposes of trash into the appropriate bin, 
It is carried through an underground pipeline to a central waste collection station using a stream of air. This solution minimizes odors, noise, and the dispersal of small particles. This improves the ecological situation and creates comfortable conditions for leisure and work. At the station, the garbage is sorted in airtight containers which are then transported to a processing plant. The system is completely enclosed. It eliminates human contact with waste during the collection during temporary storage stages. Already, hundreds of such stations are installed all around the world. In residential areas, shopping centers, airports, professional kitchens, and factories processing poultry, meat, fish, and vegetables. The Korean company Hankook has introduced the Wheelbot wheel platform with 360-degree rotating tires which could change the future of vehicle mobility. Thanks to these wheels, the robot can move in any direction. This innovative solution could completely transform parking norms. Drivers who find parallel parking challenging may, in the future, simply stop their car and slide sideways into a tight space. In other words, with such wheels, there won't be the need to maneuver the steering wheel intensely to find the best angle for parking. Moreover, according to the manufacturer, this wheeled robot can move in any direction, not just on the road, but also indoors or in any other location. The company is also working on developing a transport capsule that could be used as a commuting vehicle for everyday trips to work. Hebi Robotics, based in Pittsburgh, has developed a unique robot named Treddy that can navigate challenging terrain and dive up to 3 feet deep. The robot consists of a central rectangular body with four controllable movable legs, each ending in a rubber track. When moving on a flat surface, the robot's tracks remain in a horizontal position. If it encounters an obstacle, like a fallen log or a large rock, it lifts its front legs to raise itself over the barrier and continues on. Moreover, due to its waterproof design, the robot can stay submerged in water up to 3 feet deep for about half an hour. The built-in battery provides power for 2-3 to three hours of operation. The robot can be equipped with various tools and is designed for search and rescue missions, industrial inspections, and other operations in hard-to-reach places. The company Killa Design has conceived a series of villas both on water and on land as part of an ambitious project set to take place on the shores of the Red Sea in Saudi Arabia. The villas take on the shape of futuristic steel spheres hovering above the water surface and reflecting the sea, sky, and reef below, thanks to their polished steel bodies. The design draws inspiration from the island's natural environment, particularly coral formations creating a circular effect. The villa's interiors are crafted to resemble wide desert sand dunes. The cleverly planned interior layout provides guests with a sense of solitude. As of now, 26 villas have been successfully installed by the builders. In total, around 100 such structures will be created. They are transported to the construction site via water and weigh 120 tons each. The Two Swift board boasts a unique design and construction, resembling a scooter without the handlebars. Its specifications are akin to those of a skateboard. 
It reaches a top speed of 24 miles per hour and offers an impressive range of up to 21 miles on a single charge. One of the skateboard's key features is its 9.5-inch pneumatic tires. These tires enable it to navigate nearly any terrain and easily overcome obstacles that might pose challenges for regular electric skateboards. The board's control system was specially developed to ensure stability at high speeds and maneuverability at low ones. This allows for a comfortable experience both on roads and at skate parks. The Flox Project is an ultrasonic system designed to deter wild animals that damage crops and fields. This technology relies on autonomous drones equipped with computer vision and artificial intelligence. They assess the situation and draw conclusions, then make decisions based on their analysis. When unwelcome guests are detected, the drone identifies the type of animal and its weight. It then sends a focused ultrasonic signal that prompts the animals to leave the field. The damage caused by wild animals to cultivated fields is a major reason for farmers' profit loss in Europe. In Sweden in 2020, wild animals caused damage on 17% of grain fields and nearly 28% of starch potato fields. The Flox technology helps minimize this damage without harming the animals. Did you ever imagine that your boxing bag could hit you back? No? Well, then you should be more careful with the Boxing Buddy Trainer. This setup consists of two soft robotic arms that attach to the boxing bag at any desired height. The arms can also be secured to a tree, a training dummy, or any other sturdy vertical object and the trainer connects to your smartphone via Bluetooth. In a special way, you can choose one of three modes. Each mode has four difficulty levels and tracks your progress. The entire system weighs around two kilograms. With a 1.5 hour charge, the trainer can operate for 10 hours. It is planned that the setup will be available for purchase soon at a price of $449. Ascento Security Robot Lately, there has been an increase in robots with a hybrid design. They combine legs for walking and wheels on them for fast movement. Recently, the company Ascento developed and tested such a robot with the same name. The device has two legs with wheels at the ends, with each leg being able to bend independently. Thanks to this, the all-terrain robot can overcome rough terrain, uneven surfaces, and stairs. Inside its head, there is a computer, a battery, sensors, and artificial intelligence. It is equipped with a thermal camera that detects people, vehicles, and provides a 360-degree view. The robot can communicate with the control center in real time. The company claims that using security robots will reduce the need for a large workforce. Now, only one or two guards will be needed to ensure security at large facilities.